Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again from OptionAlpha.com and in this video I want to talk about this concept of long-term consistency and how you can get there with your trading. And this really starts with a question that I'm often asked from fellow members and from people that I coach. And they always say, Kirk, I want to be more consistent with my trading and portfolio. So how do I do that? Right? What are, what are the steps I need to take to be more consistent? And look, we all want to be more consistent in what we do. And especially when it comes to investing our harder money, we don't want to see profits disappear so quickly. But what I often find, as I've talked about many times, is that people are not in this business long enough to actually see the fruits of their labor. So I often talk about the idea that you need to be committed to doing this system and trading high probability trades for months, years, and the longer that you stay in it and stay persistent with the strategy and consistent with making trades, the better your consistency will be. So if you're in this for three months or six months and you don't see the results, you just haven't stayed in long enough to begin with. But oftentimes we get into trades that go bad from the beginning. And it's not that you're making bad decisions, that the system is flawed, it's just that you haven't been in it long enough. So Today I want to present to you this idea of long-term consistency by the concept of throwing a pair of dice. And we're all familiar with dice, six-sided dice, one through six on each side. And so if our goal in throwing dice is to get to some sort of likely outcome that's a high probability outcome, in this case it would be throwing the number seven with two dice, right? That's The number seven is the highest chance of happening every time that you throw dice because there's many different combinations that could create seven. You could have one and six, you could have two and five, and four and three, et cetera, et cetera. Now a low probability roll of the dice would be snake eyes or throwing ones, or would be throwing a 12 because there's only one chance on each dice that you throw a 12 or one chance on each roll of the dice that you throw snake eyes. But there's a lot of opportunity to throw a seven. Now, this is where people obviously understand at this point, right? And I get, you probably, most of you are saying, okay, I get that, Kirk, right? This idea of throwing a seven. But if we take this concept and then apply it to long-term trading, it has the same fundamental implications. And that is mainly that the more times you roll the dice, the closer and closer you get to averaging out to somewhere around a seven or somewhere in the middle of your probability range or your targeted probability range. So if we have four different graphs here, you can see that if I only throw the dice five times, so I just make five single trades, and again, I'm looking for that seven, but I only throw the dice five times, well, I may end up with you know a two and a four, and I may end up with a seven, and I, then I may end up with a 10 and 11, okay? And so people that come into this business, this is exactly what they do. They make five or 10 trades and some of them don't go right. So sometimes you're looking for a seven, you're looking for that profitable trade and you get a two and a four. You get trades that are you know marginally bad and one trade that's really bad, right? And so they immediately quit out of the out of the business. They say, you know, trading's wrong, the system is flawed, you know, these guys don't know what they're talking about. But all it takes is just the ability to do that same type of trade over and over and over again. So in this case, you make more trades and you have you know a lot more frequency here. You're still rolling the same dice, but now you have more frequency. Now you can start to see that our curve or our probability and expected curve is getting closer and closer to that seven that we're looking at. Now you keep throwing the dice, you keep making more trades. You still might have some outliers, right? There's, there's no doubt that we still might have some outliers out there, some trades that don't go so well and maybe some trades that go really high against our positions but at the same time we're starting to see that a lot more of our trades are kind of stacking up in this middle range this kind of higher probability range that it should and now we get to the point where we're making a couple hundred to a couple thousand trades over the course of a year or two years or three years now you can see that your ability to be consistent is directly related to the number of trades that you're willing to make. And again, that's why I said in the beginning of this video, and I, I talk about often, that you have to be committed to this business and believe in these numbers and probabilities because it does take a lot of time to, sh to see consistency. And consistency is not something that happens overnight, right? It, it happens over the course of many months 
and weeks and even years. But here's what I will tell you to kind of wrap up this video. If you want to be truly profitable and consistent, I guarantee that if you do things right and make the right types of high probability trades, it is only a matter of time that you see success. Meaning that the longer you stay in this business and the longer you make these trades, the more of them that you make, whether that's over weeks, months, years, whatever the case is, the more consistent and the more profitable you will become. And that's an incredibly motivating factor for you because you should know that it's just a matter of time and being consistent and persistent with your trades. So again, this video was pretty simple. We only went through a couple slides, but it's extremely powerful, the type of stuff that we're talking about. And hopefully this really challenges a lot of the thoughts that you've had before about making options trades and making a real business out of trading. As always, if you guys have any comments or questions, please ask them right below on the video lesson page. I'll get back to all of those. Make sure that you guys have all the answers that you need and happy trading.